Okay, what's up guys? Uh, this is Leo, uh, back with the uh, world's fastest stock Arma Typhon project. I'm going to do a quick video uh, about programming the speed control. Um, you know, throttle setup and then your different, um, what is it called, variables. Because if you're like me, try to read the manual and it really sucks. And there's really no videos out there explaining like basic setup other than one I found but it was more pertaining to just the punch settings and unfortunately I can't hear anything the guy says because it's drowned out by his ESC fan so I did unplug my fan here so that we can hear the video so we'll start with the basic throttle settings um, so really all you need to do is hold down the set button here you're going to see the on button, there's a little button next to it Okay. And here's your little light that you're going to go off lights and beeps as everything's lights and beeps. So we're going to turn on the speed control and as soon as that light starts flashing we're going to let go. Okay. So now we're in our throttle setting. Hopefully you can still hear me over all this. Uh, so essentially now we're going to set the neutral, the forward and the reverse position. So while that's beeping we're in neutral right now. We're just going to push that set button again once. Okay. Green light flash, we're set. Now we're gonna go full throttle on the radio, make sure your radio is on. Full throttle, set. Now we're gonna go full reverse. Press set button, set, and that's it. So once you've done that, you shut off your speed control and you're all set. That's gonna lock in that programming for your throttle setup. So we shut that down. And we're good. Uh, we'll move on now to the uh, variables. Um, in particular, the really only two that I really care about are the punch setting and the brake setting. Um, the punch setting is going to essentially has to do with how hard uh, the throttle hits when it goes into throttle. Um, the higher number is the more punch that it has, the lower number the less. Pretty sure. Uh, I think that's what it is. Hard to tell the difference, not gonna lie. Um, you know, when you got cards going 100 plus miles an hour and you floor it, it I can't really tell the difference, but tell the difference in the speed. Um, you know, I, I don't know if that's the case. Maybe I just had a better run when I set the punch setting higher as opposed to the standard where it was set at four. Um, I haven't tried going below four to see if it makes any difference. So, I don't know. Um, maybe I'll do a video on that and see what the differences are. So. Um, the low voltage cutoff, I'm not even going to get into that because your two settings or your two uh, variables are going to be their LiPo or nickel metal hydride. And I'm not even going to show you how to change that from LiPo to nickel metal hydride because if you're running a nickel metal hydride battery in this car, um, I hate you. We can't be friends. Put a LiPo in it. Don't waste your time with a nickel metal hydride and you're just going to have a piece of crap. It's going to get you about three minutes of runtime at 20 miles an hour. Lipo all the way. Okay, so we'll skip over the, the variable. But the variable for those is just going to be basically beeps. Um, so when we go into the variable, you'll hear one beep. That's going to be your low voltage cutoff. Two beeps is going to be your punch setting. Three beeps will be your brake strength. Four beeps is going to be the run mode, which is going to be your forward and brake, or your forward brake and reverse. Uh, five beeps is going to be your motor rotation. I don't know why you'd ever change that unless you put your wiring backwards, but that's a waste of time too. So we won't even get into that either. Um, running mode, I'm not really gonna get, there's only the two. You have forward and brake, or forward brake reverse. So we'll skip right over the low voltage, you'll hear it beep once, I'm not gonna let go. Then when it beeps twice, I'll let go of that set button, and we'll go into our punch settings. The one part that gets confusing about the punch settings, when it gets to level five, it doesn't count five beeps anymore. So level one, two, three, four is going to be one beep, two beep, three beep, four beep. Level five is just going to be one long beep. And then followed by a short beep or two short beeps or three short beeps or four short beeps. So it's essentially you're doing ad addition. Uh, five is going to be a long beep. One beep after is level six. Two beep after is level seven. Three beep, eight. Four beep is nine. So if you can't add five plus two, three, or four, you shouldn't be driving an RC car anyways. Um, so what we'll do is that is essentially the same thing that we did to do the throttle control, is we're just gonna hold it longer. So when you hold it longer, then it's gonna start beeping 
the numbers of each variable. So it's the same thing. You're gonna hold down your set button. And you're gonna turn on the throttle. You're gonna keep holding. That was your nickel metal hydride versus lipo. And now we're in level two. So beep twice, now we're in our punch strength. So you can go through them. So here that is beeping long beep beep, one, two, three, four. That's, I'm in level nine right now. So that's our punch seven level nine. If I hit it again, it's gonna go back to zero because nine's the highest. One. One, two. One, two, three. Four, that's gonna be your, that's where your setting is from the factory. Now five, you're gonna hear a long beep. That's five. Now one, six is gonna be five plus one. Same thing, seven. One, two. One, two, three, and I'm gonna go back to nine. One, two, three, four. So that's our punch setting level four. So now we're in that setting, it's gonna keep saying that until we shut it off. When we shut it off, that's gonna set that setting and it'll be stuck at that setting. So even if you go back into it, it's still gonna show nine, which is where I was at when I left off. So we'll shut that off and then we'll go back into the break string. Once we shut this down, that's gonna lock it in. So now that's our punch setting is set at nine. Uh, we'll move on now. What I'll do is again, I'll turn it back on holding the set button, let it beep three times so it gets to the third setting, which is gonna be our break strength. Break strength I found is really important. Um, if you saw my video of my 100 mile an hour crash into the curb of death, I had my brake st uh, strength set at the factory default, which is 37.5%, and it wasn't enough brake. Reason being is because of our aftermarket spool setup that we have. Um, when you get really tall gearing, you get good top speed, and horrible braking. The braking sucks as the gearing gets taller. Uh, picture your car driving in fifth gear on the highway, if you know how to drive stick shift, and you hit the brakes. It doesn't slow down anywhere near as fast as if you were driving around in first gear and you even just let off the gas, you feel that slam. Because of that short gearing, you know, that's the gearing is stopping the motor. When you have tall gearing to get high top speeds, your braking sucks. So you're gonna wanna set that up to the 50% braking. If you're running a stock spool, and you're doing maybe 80, 90 miles an hour, your stock braking's really good. So good, so much that there's been a few times that I've almost destroyed a set of tires by slamming on the brakes, you leave skid marks down the road and big flat spots on all your tires. Um, when you do tall gearing, you know, the gearing that I crashed was a 40 spur, 30 pinion. And I was on the brake forever and it just wouldn't stop. Um, until I hit that wall and it came to a sudden stop. Um, so let me turn this back on again. We're going to hold our set button. We're going to turn it on. We're going to let that go until it gets our third green flight. Notice level one, two. Now we're in three. That's our brake setting. So here it beeped three times after I let off. That was because I'm in level three brake, which is going to be 50%. Breaking. That's the highest you can do on this speed control, so that's where I want to stay, but I'll show you how to scroll through it. Um, so again, we're in the variable number three, which is the brake setting. So I want to go, I'm at three right now. Variable three, level three is the highest of level three. So if I hit this again, it's going to go to level one. So the beep one, 25%. Two is the factory setting. One, two, that's 37.5%. One, two, three, that's level three on variable three. So level three is the highest you can go on variable three, which is the brake setting. So again, all we have to do is shut this down and this is gonna lock in. That's it. So that's set in. Um, the next one is gonna be your running mode. Um, I'll do a quick one on that. I don't know you know, if you ever wanna change that. It's the same thing, you're gonna turn it on and hold to number four. So turn your setting, turn on, which you get your fourth green beep. One, one, two, that's variable three, one, two, three, four. So now, now we're in our running mode and you hear our beep twice because it's on the factory default, which is forward, brake, and reverse. <clears throat> um, I guess if you race this thing, you just want forward and brake. I don't know, I always leave reverse because I like to be able to get my car back when it's really far away if it's 
bumped up against a curb or something like that. So I'm gonna hit it again. one, two. So I'll show you how to go to one. So now we're in one. You heard it beep once. So it's gonna keep telling you where it's at until you shut it off and set it. So we're still in one, I wanna go to two. One, two, forward, break, reverse. Um, and again, then we shut it down and it stays there. That locks in that programming. Um, um, the next one's gonna be your motor rotation. It's the same thing. You have, only have two different settings. So it's either gonna beep once or it's gonna beep twice. I don't know why you'd ever reverse your wiring. I don't know, I really have no idea. I'm running the stock setup, stock motor, stock speed control, so there'd be no reason for me to want my forward throttle to be reversed on my radio. So that's really it. Um, that's the whole setup. That's, as far as I know, that's all you can do with this factory speed control. Um, so go ahead and I uh, do strongly suggest uh, you bump up your brake setting. I suggest you play around with the different variables on the punch setting and see what you get, see how you like it. Uh, maybe it's more noticeable um, when you're running, you know, stock gearing and stuff like that. Uh, like I said, when you're doing top speed runs, you're kind of just rolling into the throttle until you get to a certain speed because you're not you're not going to get traction anyway. So um, I have it set to nine right now. I haven't tried it all the way below four. The difference from four to nine, I didn't really notice. So. Um, could be a big difference, maybe not. Maybe I just had a better run at one point and had a little more distance to get a top speed. So that's really it. That's your basic um, uh, speed control or ESC, whatever you guys calling it these days, uh, BLX 185. Um, this is a factory stock um, speed control that comes in the Arma Typhoon. Oh, maybe a couple other cars. I don't really know too much about it. I've only had this car for a few weeks. so. There's your video. Uh, enjoy. If you have any questions, comment. I'll try and reply to them. And if you like my videos, go ahead and subscribe and I'll keep them coming. Good luck.